Adventures! Hello, Interwebs, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations. My name's Skinny Mooney. And I'm Pharaoh. Last episode, we found out Ambassador Alba is a jerk, and um, we gotta take him down. But uh, apparently he said he didn't self-defense, which I highly doubt. But, uh, I just, oh, I was so, so frustrated with him. Yeah, no, I, I uh, I was there. I, I, I heard that frustration. Yeah, it was, um, mm. <laughs> let's see what's going to happen here, though. Yeah, let's, let's say yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, this is what we devolved into, so. March 15th, 2011. 2 11 a.m. Let me add a colon to be zero. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Hey game, why uh, why aren't you working for me? Oh, not responding. That's that's just great. Uh, uh, th th there we go. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Oh, I can't believe it, sir. Extraterritoriality. Yes, and there's nothing we can really do about that. In the end, we didn't have enough authority to bring him to justice. I can't believe that even th even though we we know he's the boss. We can't lay a finger on him. I know. Hey, Mr. Frost here. Sorry to skip out on you, but I've got some business to take care of. Uh. Okay. Bye. If we can't give him an even... Uh, wow. Why can't I read today? If we can't even give an evil guy like him a slap on the wrist, then what the heck was the law created for? What good are they? If the law can't help us... Then I'll go as the Yadokarasu and take care of this myself! Don't you dare! Mr. Edgeworth... Sorry, but that was a bit too harsh. I know how you feel, sir. We're trying to take out an ambassador, after all. And he did tell us earlier to get out of the theater. This is kind of another country, I guess. But I feel like I've been slapped across the face for just doing my job. What am I going to do? Should I retreat for now and formulate a better plan of attack? Come on, everyone! We can't give up yet! Okay. I want you to think about something for a sec. We've never let it up... Oh, well... Yeah, we never let up for even a second. And as long as we don't stop investigating, we might find the rotten treasure hidden here! She's right! Come on, Mr. Edgeworth! You're right, Kay. Very well. Let us reopen the investigation and see what we find. Come on, Kay. Right behind you. Okay, then I'll go check out the ball a bit more, sir. And Francisca's. Okay. And I have something that I need to investigate further in Alabast. Now then. That was a weird. Right, it's like. <laughs> There's a couple of seconds of silence, it's okay. <laughs> Before I gather any more information, I should do a bit of housekeeping. Oh, sweet. Okay, that's the flowers. That's it? Oh. Yes, that's it. Okay. Oh. And that's oh. the elbow seemed agitated over something. I wonder why. There are two special circumstances that surround the ambassador. First, the ambassador, the embassy itself, has extraterritorial rights. If something happens on Alabastian soil, we are unable to legally prosecute him. Cool! It sounds like embassies are the perfect place to steal whatever you want! And murder the master second, run a smuggling operation, and make counterfeit bills, apparently. But I thought all that counterfeit was done by Mr. Cochin and Babal. Yes, he apparently used the embassy's coupon printing press to do it. Okay. But it's the same story over there anyway. The ball has also has extraterritorial rights. Which brings me to my next point. The ambassador's extraterritorial rights. 
Those rights are effective even in our own country. Really? No matter what happens, he can never be tried in our courts. He retains some very special rights indeed. Basically, no matter what wrongs he may commit, we can't bring the trial here. So I guess we really don't stand a chance, do we? Hmm. We might stand a chance and we can somehow nullify either one of his special rights. Huh. Okay. This reminds me of Lethal Weapon 2. What? <laughs> It's just been revoked. <laughs> uh, um, okay. Uh, what can I look at? Can I look at this picture? There's this like picture in the hallway. The one on the towards the left side. Yeah. This was taken just before the two ambassadors gave their bo bo bouquets to the Steel Samurai. Wait, is it just my imagination, or is there something in this picture that I've seen before? Well, rest into the okay. Okay, wait. Da, 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 da. Oh, look at the organizer. Maybe there's something we have. Da, 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 da. Oh, that was weird. Um. <laughs> da, 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 da. Not the missing guy. Didn't we have a pic? Oh, we got rid of that picture because we didn't need it anymore. Never mind. <laughs> um. Gosh, I can't see because I'm far away from my TV. Uh, what's different? What's different? Yeah, I'm I'm close to my uh, TV screen. I, I'm still unsure what we need to look at here. Wait a minute. Yeah. The Bobbley's Embassy undergo. I'm looking at logic real quick. The Bobbley's Embassy is going undergoing reservation from top to bottom. Agitated Alba, Cochin's counterfeiting OP. No. So there's no deduce button either. There isn't? No. What are we supposed to be looking at? So I'm trying to figure out here. Unless we're not supposed to go here yet. What is what is different? Okay, hold on, okay. Let me just look at the flowers maybe. Uh Ambassador Alba's flowers. Okay. It appears to be a bouquet of Persian cyclamens and roses. Mm -hmm. Wow! You even know the exact species? I never would have figured you out for an expert on flowers. Oh. <sighs> it's all because of those flowers that old lady sends me every month. <laughs> just look at me. It's not like some sort of botanist. Aww. That just would be a cute botanist. 420 smoking up blaze! Okay. Um. That's the type of botany he's talking about. All right. So, um, what exactly is this yellow flower here? Hmm. That one... I'm not sure. What? You don't know? As far as I can recall, I've never seen a flower like this before. I feel as though I've seen this shape somewhere before. Did oh! Now we can deduce, but... The shape of the yellow flower? Yes, it looks like... It's this! It's the... It's that pick! The pick? Yeah. Cause it looks like... It looks like it's missing a section, isn't it? Uh... Or it looks like a... a what is that cereal? Smack? Smuckers or something? Smuckers, smackers? Smackers, something I think. Like that. Oh, I want some now. I know, me too. I was craving that just now, thinking about it. I, I've been craving it for years. I don't know why the hell I've ever gone out and bought it, but. <laughs> uh. I don't. I, I can't really tell. It's a pick. I mean, this is a. Wait, found at the open air stage. It looks like a tar pick. It's also wet for some odd reason. And then a flower. I don't. I don't know. I'ma try it. I, you, you know, shoot. I'ma go for it. Alright, you go for it. I'm still gonna take a look around. Deduce. Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? Uh. I don't know. Maybe. 
Yeah. Right. I mean, I may not be right. We're just, it doesn't matter. Who is it? No, it wasn't it. Can this is evidence we were left out related to the photo, huh? Well, nope, I don't think it's related at all. Well, dang. It looked like it, you have to admit. It did, but I was still a little unsure, because it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Well, there's nothing. The flowers. How is it? Gotta go ask to this knife. Wait. No. Wait. Uh. Okay. So, uh, Take a look at the knife. Are you serious? Hold on. Oh my god, game. Oh, that's right, because it was missing, wasn't it? Well, the knife, it's the, <coughs> the Albastian knife. The, um... It, Hold on. Because they are asking, was it, was this carried across country lines? And it was, because that... Why can't I move it up? Oh, dang it. Dang it, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Uh... Yeah, because there's, like, something missing right here. That's what it looks... It's this! It's this! No! Wait! What? It is the pig! It's the pig? Look at the- look at the, the, the- Okay, okay, examine the Albastrian knife. Oh, I already presented something. Oh. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll see I can- So you want me to do what now? Okay, examine the, um, the Albastrian knife. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now turn it on the side and look at the handle. Okay, now look, look. There should be like one spot missing. There is. And it, 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 if you look at the back of it, it's all there. And wasn't in the. Except. Oh, yeah. Right. So that that's okay. So I am right, but I'm just a little farther ahead. So. Uh, so what I deduce. The, the. I deduce the knife, and it looks like that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I was right. I was just one step ahead. Okay. Yeah, which I mean, it happens to us all the time in this in the series. What? what can you do? Perfect. Okay, I did. But balls nest. Yeah. Are you are you okay? Yeah. Uh, that was the weirdest sneeze I've ever did. Oh, that was a sneeze. Bless you. It was like I took a breath and then it was like coming back out and then it turned into a weird sneeze. <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun at all. It hurt. Oh, no. Oh, okay, I'm fine. Keep going, you sorry? It's, you're okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Babal's national symbol is the butterfly, and Al Alabas is the flower. It would appear that some someone is employing the old hide and a try to tree in a forest trick. What are you mumbling to yourself about? Wait, what? The handle in this knife! Ah! Yes, it's the handle that was supposed to be on the blade that killed the Sokochin. The weapon that killed him was carried through the theatre of Neutralis. And the very bouquet Ambassador Alba was carrying. Ah! The flower motif. It looks like, it looks like one of the flower petals is missing. Oh, and take a look at the weapon itself. It's missing the exact same petal. Then the knife in this photo is most definitely the same as his murder weapon. Hmm. Okay. I'm guessing is that it? <laughs> I think so. Uh, is there anything else to examine? Do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't. Oh, I, can't. I don't actually see anything. Uh, let's look at the flower bouquets on the left. On the left? Yeah. Flowers were sent by a variety of people and, and businesses to celebrate the goodwill event. Even the Steel Samurai received some flowers from the ambassadors. There's so many bouquets here. It's like a wedding ceremony. I believe the flowers for those are for a slightly different reason. What do you mean? This event was supposed to be like a wedding between Alabas and Babal, right? Actually, I believe they're more in a state of divorce. Okay then, this event was supposed to be their remarriage ceremony. Hmm. 
I suppose you could call it that. Sub by Global Studios. Global Studios? That's where they film the Steel Samurai television show. They have been producing hit after hit recently, so the studio is being remodeled. Oh, I read about that in the paper the other day. That mascot of theirs is also getting a facelift too, right? Um, what's its name? You mean Mrs. Monkey? Yeah, I thought it was something like that. You really have a great memory. Ha! Huh, never underestimate my powers of recollection. Get a big head of it. Which actually is not a joke, it's not Mrs. Monkey, it's actually Mr. Monkey. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Alright, um. Can we talk to the guard on the right? <clears throat> yeah, we can try. Hello, and welcome to the Unbeceivable Ball. I'm sorry, but I don't really need to enter your country at this time. Right now, for a limited time here at the Ball Police Embassy, we're offering a very special experience a terrifying Fire's Ashes tour. So how about it? Shall I sign you up? We're, fi we're fine, thanks. We have an investigation to run. Okay, well, I'm guessing there's the only thing we need to do is finish up that picture. Either that, or do we take a look at our logic yet? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I sense that... Okay, so Agitated Alba, Renovations, and Cochin's Counterfeiting OP. Operation. Uh, yeah. I just said OP. Oh, sorry. I... I just wanted to be sure. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um. Alright. So... I'm guessing... Does he not want us to investigate the renovations? I feel like we need more information. This is another renovation of the bottom. Use Bobbly's Embassy's printing press and Bobbly's ink to make counterfeit bills. A sensor is something he doesn't want to investigate. I don't know. I think we need to look at that picture again. Alright, I guess. Um. Da -ba -da -ba. I guess let's no. work on... Huh? Well, it can't be a picture. He says I already checked this area earlier. Oh, well then, shoot. Well, we didn't receive any logic from that. Unless we... Yeah, wait. Oh, wait. We didn't? What did we get? No, we just got the, the picture. Oh, well... The commemorative photo. Well, I guess it's used for later, but I don't... I don't... Whenever that pops up in the game, I, I've already checked the area. There's nothing left in that area. So, what else is there to check? I'm assuming it's the logic. I, I don't know what it is, but I feel like we have to combine something. Okay. Okay, is he agitated about the counterfeiting? OP, or is the OP related to the renovations? Hold on, let me look at the thing. Used? Probably is... Oh! Uh, Cochin's counterfeiting in the renovations, because he used... Cochin used Bobbly's embassy printing press to make counterfeit bills. There's a... No. Well, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe because it's both Bobbly's, and because, like, the thing is... I'm a little unsure why he would be actually, because he's more on the Albastian side, isn't he? Yeah, so why would he be upset about any of these? So the renovations and the counterfeiting must go together. We can try it out. Connect! Uh, well. yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. Okay. That was it. <clears throat> we know the counterfeit bills were printed using the embassy's uh, press, but the necessary materials, such as the Bobbly's ink and paper, must have been hidden in a secure location. But what do you think would have happened if the renovation had begun? Well, he probably had to find a hi better hiding place or get rid of it all. 
right, so we can assume that the renovation was the cause of the plate and Bill's disposal. And the reason Mr. Cochin was killed for the as the ringleader of the smuggling operation. Based on what we know, who do you think was the one with the most to gain? The most to gain? Manny Cochin, I assume, yeah? I don't... Or Kirkus Alba. Oh, no, no, Paleno. He's the ambassador. But, well, see, the thing is... Do we even know Paleno has a stake in any of this? No, he seems pretty focused on his coupons. Based on what <laughs> we know, I mean, kind of. It's okay, we, we, we can have dumb moments here and there. Shut up. Okay, it's okay, don't worry. I, my dumb moment's like tenfold yours, so it's okay. Does it? I... Pretty much, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it does. Okay, alright. I'm trying to be nice to you, come on now. Uh. Based on what we know, who do you think was the one with the most to gain? Now, I don't know if Cochin would essentially have anything to gain if he's destroying their own stuff. Oh, Kyrgyz Alba, okay, yeah. Alright. I was th I was thinking of making it, that's why I got it confused. Mm -mm. Oh, Kyrgyz Alba. <laughs> It's the one person who has been erasing all evidence of the smuggling operation. From both embassies, the co-conspirator who is mopping up Ambassador Alba. Ambassador Alba had a very strong motive to kill Manny Cochin. Okay, so he doesn't want us to investigate the, the, the Cochin's murder. Okay. Because Alba could conveniently place all the guilt on the smuggler. Yeah, he could easily do that because he's dead. I mean, he, he's doing it right now, isn't he? Yeah. So he's like, he's the thing about the smuggling ring. And it's like, but, but are you sure? <laughs> we'll see. Did you connect it? Yeah, I did. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I, I was sorry. The cause of Ambassador Alpha's agitation, the rotten treasure we may find, and the motive for killing Mr. Cochin. Miss Yu said it herself that, that she didn't kill anyone tonight. If we were to take her words at face value, then the reason for the Ambassador's nervousness can only be one thing. He didn't want us to discover the real circumstances under which Mr. Cochin was killed. Ah! Then you mean Ambassador Alba is the real killer? But I thought the two of them were friends. Maybe they were, but what if Mr. Koshin was the one who first betrayed their friendship? Oh, I get it. Wasn't Mr. Koshin pushing really hard for Mr. Paleno to be the ambassador after the reunification? Yes, and that was the real reason why he wanted to steal Alabas Primadol's statue. So Mr. Koshin hired Damas II to go steal it for him. But when Ambassador Alba found out what he was up to, he killed Mr. Cochin? It is definitely a possibility at this point. Those two really were thinking of no one but themselves. But the question now is, how did he do it? Ambassador Alba was an alabast, but Mr. Cochin's body was discovered in Babal, right? Right. And, th and that is what we must solve next. Yay! Uh-oh. Oh. I believe we now understand why Ambassador Alba was so nervous and agitated. It must have something to do with where Mr. Cochin was killed. A place where the Albastian amb amb ambassador was likely to meet the Babalese Mr. Cochin. The place where Ambassador Alba happened to have committed the murder is... Which we'll find out in the next episode. Ah! 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 I don't even know. I don't. I just did it. Oh my god. Alright guys, thank you so very much for watching. And it's good to be back. Oh, I missed recording so much. It, so It feels nice. It does. So, thank you again for watching. And if no one's told you that they love you today, we do. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.